Hey YouTube, what is up? I am Mike. Thank you for watching. Uh, so I'm going to be checking out the new video just came out a few days ago by Europe. Um, I, I was a huge fan of Europe back in the day with the final countdown and uh, Carrie, I think was the name of the song. That was I, I back. I haven't heard, listened to that record in ages. I almost forgot about it to be honest with you, which is kind of a shame because when I was young, I loved that record. Um, and it was it was right before I started getting into real heavy stuff, you know, the thrash metal and all that. Uh, but I was a huge fan. I didn't even realize that. I guess they went on for quite a while after that and then broke up for a while, got back together. They've got like 11 records or maybe they've got a new one coming out that's going to be their 11th. Maybe they've got a documentary or something coming out, looks like, uh, too. I just read a little thing on Blabbermouth about them. Um, I'm really excited to hear this, um, for one, because I dug them and I'm curious to see what they sound like nowadays, but also because I read that the guy who produced this, um, I'm, I'm probably going to butcher this pronunciation, but it's like Klaus or Klaus... Um, 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 uh, now I've, damn it. Anyway, I, the only thing I know about him and I, I thought I recognized the name, but then it went on to say immediately, he's the guy who produced, uh, Ghost's latest record, uh, which I just happen to be wearing a ghost shirt, which is not uncommon for me. Um, but I, uh, they're my favorite band and their latest record in para, I believe is the greatest production of any record that's ever been made. In my opinion, it's just so perfect sounding i just love it uh learned so much from listening to that record 85 million times in the last year or year and a half since it came out anyway he produced uh this by europe they're also from sweden uh so i'm pretty stoked to see what this sounds like let's hear it everybody ready <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds like what I would hope it so sounds like. Um, good for them. This is this is great. Yeah, from the little bit I read, it sounds like it's the same dudes, or at least most of the same dudes, and it definitely looks like I, I can tell the guitar player. I haven't got a good look at the keyboard player yet. Like I said, it's been so long since I saw them anyway. But yeah, I mean, this is this is cool. I. It's always, you know, it, it's disappointing when somebody that you remember and have you know fond memories of, and they put something out new. And, you know, it's just not all that. That happens a lot with bands from that era. But, you know, if this was brand new right now and I didn't have an emotional connection to this band, I don't know that I'd be, you know, digging on it as like, man, this is my new favorite thing or whatever. But it's, uh, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> And it does sound great. The production is great. It's a different different kind of production than Impera is. The drums aren't as huge as they are on Impera. Um, and just a very different bass tone and whatnot too. But it sounds great.
he always was a great guitar player and they always had some really cool musical interludes in their uh in in their songs so i am i've really got high hopes for this i'm i'm hoping that this whole thing they're going to go into here let's see Nice little dual harmony there. He always uh, he always did that a lot. I always wondered. I've never seen any like live videos from him back then. I don't know if they were using like a harmonizer to duplicate that live or whatnot. Nowadays, I'm sure it's probably tracks. Um, could have even been back then. Who knows? But yeah, that's cool. was great <laughs> i had a lot of fun with that uh I, i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna have to dig back into that first record it's it's it was weird when i saw it pop up i'm like oh yeah damn europe I literally haven't thought about them in forever that was that was a great fun song like i like i said i'm not sure you know if i heard it without all that memory attached to it because that's just i was that was a very significant record for me and it's just bizarre to me that i have not revisited that in a long, long time. Like, I don't, maybe if, I'm, I'm not sure I've revisited it ever since, you know, since then, since I started venturing off more into heavy stuff. And even when I, you know, started listening to a much wider selection of music, for whatever reason, I just never have gone back to that. I might have to do that. Um, Thank you for watching. My name's Mike. Uh, if you enjoyed the reaction, you know, remember to uh, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks.